There is one main objective of email marketing, and that's for the recipient to open and read it. On average, open rates can range from 17 to 28 percent. All other actions after that should be secondary and can be seen as an added benefit. Any open rate under 10 percent is concerning. Any open rate over 25 percent, you can be happy about. Optimizing your headline is key for making sure that your subscribers actually read your email. Email marketing is an inexpensive way to directly reach your target customers. The one thing that's really good about email marketing is that it's not algorithm based. The two major factors is the size and quality of your list and the other emails that the person is receiving. Unlike social media platforms, unless you get flagged as spam, you won't go to the bottom of the person's inbox. Here are a few tips on how to get more opens on your emails. First, let's talk about subject lines and general writing content. Number one, vague and short headlines tend to get the most opens. Be short and to the point. Try something like, hey, how are you? What's up? How have you been? Some factors to also think about are length, word capitalization, and adding emojis. Emails that have the best open rates are short and have effective subject lines. Think of strong or interesting adjectives and real numbers versus written numbers. Try a subject line with the problem and the body of the email as a solution. Rotate subject line styles. If you keep using the same words, length, or teaser words, people will get annoyed or delete them. Scarcity can create interest, but don't overuse it. Avoid clickbait. If the body of the email isn't somewhat related, you'll risk losing subscribers or get flagged as spam. Number two, mix content with offers. Add value-driven content to a sale, coupon, or deal. If you keep pushing a sale or promo every single time, this could deter customers. Brainstorm associated subjects or topics that your email list might value. For example, if you're a vegan restaurant, you can do a top 10 ways to reduce your household waste, or if you're a salon, top 10 hair care or body care tips. Again, don't be in sales mode every time. You have to add value to the reader. Provide a give before a take. Test everything. If you're serious about improving email open rates or click-through rate, you should be doing split or A-B testing. Gather an email list, preferably over 100 people to get a good sample size. Split the group in half. Keep one factor as a variable. For example, 50 people will get a subject line as a question, and the other 50 will get a subject line as a statement. After a week or two passes, collect the open rates and click information. Of course, the one with the better outcomes will be the guiding principle. Let's say that you find that a statement subject line works better. In the next week or next month's email, have a variable of content style or topic. In the second test, you can do something like a group of listicle emails versus a written blog article style. After several tests, you'll begin to understand what works best for which groups. Some of you may have one general email list. Others might have different audience groups. If you're the latter, then each audience segment will need its own testing due to different preferences. Number four is design. Test different variations of colors, buttons, topography, and graphics. On RenderForest, you can use the graphic maker to make eye-catching posters or flyers, then upload it to whatever email marketing software that you're using. They can be based on holidays, seasons, or stick with one pack to keep the email campaigns consistent. Keep the designs clean and professional. If you're using this for a company or personal branding, sometimes less is more when it comes to design. I suggest sticking with two to three fonts in a single email. You can use variations of the same family, but two to three fonts is good because anything more will be chaotic, distracting, or messy. Number five, days and times of sending. Try to find days and times when the subscriber won't be distracted by other things when your email pops up in their inbox. Some find the highest engagement rate for their marketing emails occur between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. and also 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. But it's very market and audience specific. An ideal send time for a B2B tech company will be much different than a daycare center, for example. Keep in mind time zones. If you schedule an email, make sure that you calculate the target audience time zone if your email software is based on local time zones. Be consistent, make a schedule and keep to it. Your reader will sense the pattern. This can be either once a week, bi-weekly, or once a month. Some small businesses get excited, send an email every day for a week, get tired, then drop it for the next few months. Don't do that. Number six is landing pages. Closely tie your emails to landing pages. Your landing page should match or be at least similar to your email in terms of headline, deals, or theme. The look and feel of your landing page should match your email because consistency goes a long way with customer trust. If you need a quick and easy landing page, try the website builder on RenderForest. In a few clicks, you can create a simple and beautiful landing page. You can add components, links, personalized images, and more. 
Once you're done, add your landing page as an embedded link to your email so that way when your reader clicks, it brings them to your new website. Now let's talk about common marketing email softwares and platforms. MailChimp is a good overall email marketing software because it has a lot of the features that most businesses need without being overcomplicated or confusing. ActiveCampaign is a good email marketing software for automation because it has a lot of pre-built automation that helps to personalize campaigns. MailerLite is an easy email marketing software to use because it has a drag and drop interface that makes it simple and intuitive to create a design that you want. HubSpot is a good all-in-one marketing suite because it has tools and reporting for all of your marketing campaigns across various channels like websites, social, email marketing, and more. Musen is an affordable option not only because it has paid plans that cost less than most in the market, but also because you can pay either by the number of subscribers or by the number of emails that you send, depending on whichever is cheaper for you. Last is Drip. Drip is a good email marketing software for e-commerce businesses because of its workflows combined with advanced list segmentation. So there you have the steps to increase your email open rates and email marketing best practices. Make your branding and marketing easier with the link below. Try RenderForest today. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.